going on guys? Isaac Baylor here back with another PC build. Yay! Today we're going to be looking at a $500 budget PC build. Since the prices of GPUs at this price range are still high, okay, as I always like to say, still high as a kite, we won't be having one. And now let's start with the CPU. For the CPU or processor, I chose the AMD Ryzen 2400G. 3.6 gigahertz quad core APU and if you don't know what APU is the reason it's an APU is because it has onboard graphics but unlike Intel HD graphics this chip comes with Radeon Vega 11 graphics so in short terms I will leave some benchmarks linked down below if I can find any and in short terms that means you'll have a good CPU with pretty good onboard graphics but this processor has an operating frequency of 3.6 gigahertz and a turbo frequency of 3.9 so it's about middle range it's not too high it's not too low about, about right as I said earlier it was quad core processor which means it has four cores pretty self-explanatory and along with 4 megabytes of cache, 65 watt TDP, and it also comes with its own CPU cooler. Now for the motherboard, I chose the MSI B350 PCMate ATX motherboard. This is a pretty good motherboard with all the features you would need. It's an AMD 4 socket, AM4 socket I mean, which is what the CPU uses, so I don't know why it wouldn't be anything else. With four DDR4 memory slots with RAM speeds from 1667, weird number I know, all the way up to 3200 megahertz. It supports a max of 64 gigs of RAM, RAID support, crossfire support, no SLI support, but whatever. If you buy an AMD card with this, you can crossfire the APU and the video card, so it's fine anyway. It has four SATA ports and onboard USB 3 headers. Pretty standard, but it'll fit all your needs. For RAM, I just chose G School Rip Jaws 5 2400 uh, MHz memory. I chose an 8 gig instead of 16 because 8 should be enough, and 16 gig is a little bit more than double the price. Like this 8 gig stick is like $89, $87, whatever day you choose. And then the 16 gig stick will be like way up in like, not stick, but sticks. It'll be like $660, I almost said 1600 Anyway, move on from that. For the hard drive, for storage, I choose the, I chose the WD Blue Caviar, Caviar Blue 1 terabyte 7200 RPM internal hard drive. With the $500 budget, I really couldn't fit in an SSD into it, but if you have an extra 50, 60 bucks, you can totally put one in your on your own. It's pretty, f no, nothing will make a difference, honestly. It'll just boot up faster and play games faster. That's about it. For the case, I chose the Cooler Master Master Box Lite 5 RGB Mid Tower. Kind of a mouthful, I know. This case should offer you the space and features you need along with having that 2017 RGB flare. This will fit most GPUs so if you ever want to get one so yeah that's that's the case. Laughing my jokes now. Anyway, finally for the power supply I chose the Seasonic Focus Plus Gold 550 Watt 80 Plus Gold Certified Fully Modular ATX Power Supply. Whew. Now that was a mouthful. This power supply will offer you more than enough power for if you just wanted to add GPU later plus 80 plus gold efficiency along with being fully modular so that's always good yeah yeah it is and so if you actually do wind up building this PC it's actually gonna be a good little machine for how like pricey GPUs are right now because this APU will be like I think it'll be equivalent to a lower end GPU, of course, not a not a 1050, maybe a 450 for AMD side, maybe a little bit lower than that, but I'm pretty sure it'll be higher than that no matter what. 
So you'll be run, able to run CS at like medium settings, 60 FPS, I don't know. All links and benchmarks down below for random games and you can just check them out on your own. But anyway, if you really want to get into PC gaming, this is a great budget PC to last. Anyway, if you like this video, like it. If you dislike it, fucking dislike it. And if you want to check out more of my videos, subscribe and anyway, see ya.